Hey everybody, it's Kim from My Scrap, and today I wanted to share something with you. Um, I don't know if y'all know yet, but there's a new Ning site called Creative Soup for the Soul, and I've been playing on there a little bit last week, and every week they have challenges. So, um, this week, well last week they had a altered um, art challenge, and it could be anything wood. So let me grab this. I'll show you right quick. I altered this frame. Sorry about the glare. Hold on. Let me go turn off that light. Hopefully that's better. So last week it was uh, alter anything wood. And this week, which the description and everything of this is on my blog. This week it was alter something uh, glass so I know the whole captured fairy craze is pretty much over at least I think it is but um I did this and this is a baby food jar as you can see it's real small and I just put a butterfly in there so um this is going to be my entry for this week's challenge but what I did was just use um, silver mixatives on the top to cover up the labeling. This uh, flower is from Wild Orchid, Wild Orchid Crafts. And actually I didn't even order these. I ordered other things and this was my little free gift and I ended up using it first. And then um, I just put some paper roses around there. And they are by, let's see, Treasures. And I actually found them in the um, discount bin at Michael's for 25 cent. And they were, there was 12 roses in there. And then I took some seam binding that just looks like this, regular seam binding. And I glimmer misted it with, what color is this? Jack Frost. And um, hopefully you can see it under the lace right there this um lace trim i got in the um discount bin the sticker's gone i think it was only a dollar and um it's six feet long so that was a good find and then let's see what else the butterfly is from recollections they come in a package that looked like that as you can see, I've used them up pretty much. And then to um, keep the butterfly stable, oh, you can see there's another one of those little roses in there. To keep the butterfly stable and to give it a little background, I use these little spray things that are by Recollections as well. I used um, one of the white and one of the blue. And basically just curled them around a pencil and then sprung them out and cut them to size hot glued them together and then on the bottom you can see I just hot glued it in place and um, stuck it down in there and then that's what the butterfly is stuck to and also on the back part instead of using paper and Mod Podge and everything I just used silver and sailboat blue alcohol inks to create the background back there so that's my little altered glass object for creative soup for the soul. Oh, and I was going to tell you also, see right here where the seam is? As I put the alcohol ink on, it created, you know, like a, not a straight line. It was just kind of blotched. So I went back with a blending solution and cleaned that edge up so you get a straight edge on both sides. So, that was a cute little technique I come up with, I thought. <laughs> but that's it. Cute little baby jar. So, um, oh, and the other thing I wanted to let y'all know about is that while I was at Michael's, look what I found. It seems that the Bosslewood boxes are back. Only this time they're $1.50, not a dollar. So, um, at my Michael's, Unless they've put some more out, they don't have any because I bought all of them. Because <laughs> they were so popular and everything. I was like, 
well, I'm going to get enough now to last me. And then I thought, well, you know, if someone really wants these and stuff, I would um, be willing to sell them for $2 a piece. I know there's $1.50, but then, you know, the packaging, the envelope and everything. So if you want one of these, just send me a private message. They're $2 a piece um, plus shipping. Plus shipping. So um, just let me know. I have quite a few. And I'll be using some myself, so I haven't really decided how many I'm going to let go of yet. But just in case y'all were interested, if nobody's interested, then I'll just keep all of them and add them to my uh, stash, my hoarding stash. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you like my little project. I think it turned out really cute. So now I just got to decide what to do with it. <laughs> but, um... Thanks for watching my video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.